this is uh, Jake from those other guys. This is going to be a video on if you're having any problems with running GTA or Grand Theft Auto 4 from Steam on Windows 8. There are two steps to fixing this. The first step is to go to your Steam library. You're going to have to do this for both games, GTA 4 and uh, GTA episodes. You will right click on the game, you press properties drag this over then you go to set launch options and you have to go to type in a variable vid mem with a little dash for it now there will be a number here I put 30 for mine and uh, I'll explain right here how you get that number so you go to your desktop and you right click and you right click and you go to screen resolution and then you scroll down here after these to advanced settings and it'll come up and you go right here to dedicated video memory. Now mine says 32. So in my game, after that number, after you put in the um, dash available vid mem, I put 30, but you have to put a point zero afterwards because I have 32 available, so I'm going to put 30 vid mem just to be a little bit cautious. I would put the actual script in the description so you can just copy and paste it in here and then uh, you just go over to episodes and do the same thing right here see ya. and then once you have that done there's also a second step so let's minimize this go over here to your file browser and uh, go down to your C drive or whatever your main hard drive is for all your stuff open it up go to program files 86 now this is for if you're using steam um, and then you go down to your steam and the S's go down to steam apps common and then you go down to Grand Theft Auto 4 and uh, episodes Liberty City right there you open it up go to GTA 4 now find the GTA IV.exe, not the launcher, just the GTA. Right click on that, go to properties, and we'll open up. And the second one will be compatibility. Now make sure to check mark this and has it run Windows 7 for Windows 8. And then it shows you press OK. And then you go back to your, your episodes if you have this installed. If not, then you know, you're done there. Right click here, properties same thing and now all you gotta do is go over to steam and then uh, I'll show you some uh, gameplay here alright as you can see GTA is loading up fine now and, uh, going up here. Uh, I'll go through and actually load up the full game because I know some people can have the problem where they load up and just sits on the loading screen and doesn't do anything. Also, funny when I was having the graphics problem, they only gave them 28 megabytes of available memory. Well, see, it's fixed here. That's what that command in the launch does in Steam. So let's go start it up and see how that works. Good. I'm gonna take a. A little longer to load up just because I have background processes and that stuff going. But hopefully, this helps you uh, get GTA working somehow. I was not that happy when I purchased it from Steam and I have it work. And here we go, got it loaded up. And uh, there you go, looks like it works great. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe with those other guys. And uh, if you do, uh, I'll be putting out more tutorials and videos on how to mod, how to get games to work between GTA and Skyrim. And um, any requests you want, uh, I'll definitely give my efforts to work and do. Thanks for watching.